All right, so the last thing I wanted to go over was some of the presets that are available. You can see I've kind of changed the composition of the boxes. Got pretty tired of seeing that same old, same old. I've actually deleted the sun out of the scene also. Uh, I can prove that to you by typing SEL light, which would select all the lights in the scene, and there are none. Um, in the materials, I came in and actually applied porcelain to this one here, and this uh, frosted green glass to the other box. It's important to realize that our, you know glass is a very prominent part of architecture, but it really adds you know uh, to the length and, and the time required for rendering. Uh, this green grass is uh, frosted, so it'll come out you know a little see-through, but but nothing too major. Um, so coming back to the options on V-Ray options here, I can load up presets, and there's a handful of them that uh, that come with V-Ray for Rhino. And uh, you can see if uh, you start to get familiar with the process names, this is GI IR map, which is an irritance map. Uh, and I can pick a medium setting or very high, very low. Um, and you can see it turns off my camera. It does some other things, uh, but we can give that a test and see, uh, you know, how that rendering comes out. Uh, you can notice it's a little different than before. If you look back at some of the previous videos, it it doesn't compute it this way. Uh, but using these new settings, it, it, it's trying a different kind of algorithm or process to determine what materials and colors and light need to appear on the rendering. Uh, you can see we got got some cool stuff going on here. That's nice. I could also turn on the physical camera. Sometimes this kind of freaks it out. I don't have much luck with it usually, but if we go ahead and throw that in, uh, we can see we get a little bit more interesting picture. One thing we get is some vignetting around the outside. You can see how it turns dark to light. That's an option we can turn off. I'll show you that too. Uh, right here you can turn off vignetting. Um, but if we load up another system, uh, let's go. Here's a here's a three process. We have GI, QMC, and LC. We have a very high. I'm not going to use that because it won't even finish in time. Uh, and again, just because it says very high settings doesn't mean it's the very best rendering. You render enough that you can get the idea across. Ultimately, you know, all of our designs are, are just kind of concepts and theories and ideas about what space needs to be and, and how it needs to be used. Uh, and renderings are just one way that we're able to depict and uh, to explain our decisions. Uh, so line drawing is important, sections are important, plans, elevations, all of that is important. Diagrams on how the building work, that's important. And, and just because the rendering ends up being that kind of pretty picture at the end, uh, hopefully you're able to do it and, and sell the work uh, through the image and the experience. Renderings are really great at, at showing people what it's like to be there and, and how it feels to be within the space or next to the building. Uh, and without them, you know, it's, it, you may be hard pressed to kind of convey that. So over the next, you know, few years of the at school, work to to use both your line drawings and renderings to really convey a message and, and, and to explain to someone what it is that your project does or, or what it's meant to be. If you have any questions for me, you can go ahead and email me. It's c.k.mcadams at gmail.com. Uh, you can check back the website, which is chrismcadams.com or ckmca.com to find uh, more tutorials and see what else I'm up to. Uh, there'll probably be more videos over the next year or so. Uh, and if you have a specific video you'd like to have made, I can definitely go into detail about some of these options or maybe something else. Uh, and of course, you'll be seeing me uh, in class. Uh, we can go over stuff there live and in person. Uh, talk to you soon.